Silver is on a good streak here in Double A, so now it is time to find out if we can end up getting a call sometime this month to Triple A. We've been playing very well. The Brewers have traded Anthony Trahern for Kyle Crick, so there is no corresponding move that relates to us. But that does mean we get into another game here where it is a save opportunity for Kyle Oliver, who has been doing not too bad. You see here, Tennessee, not the greatest offensive stats, not the greatest pitching stats either, really middle of the rung everywhere around. So we got to start beefing things up. You see, Biloxi is a better team than us in terms of stats, so it's time for Kyle Oliver to shut them down. They've been a thorn in our side so far this year, so we got to throw out some shutout innings here. This one's going to be a deep fly ball to center field. Caught out there. And that will be one pitch, one out to start the top half of the ninth. Up a run. We'll throw the curve ball right here. And that one will be diving across the plate for a first pitch strike. And then let's go inside with the fastball right there on the inside block. And now we got to go outside with it. And we're going for that strikeout. And that one will be laced right to... The first baseman and Kyle Oliver is off to a hot start in this game right here. He's facing another righty right here, and he's going to throw that curveball in there for a strike. So we got to throw in the circle change, another strike, and now it's time to go outside with that fastball, and right there he's going to foul it off, but it will be a pop-up into foul territory. We'll cover third base as we get the save, another save for Kyle Oliver. And that will be a 5-4 Tennessee Smokies victory over the Biloxi Shuckers. And all right, that is what we are talking about right there. So we will not be able to play the next game. Hopefully, hopefully right here is the call-up. I'm really hoping for that. That would make my day if Kyle Oliver could get the call to AAA and start his road to the show in AAA. So auto-saving right there. Good performance. 255 training. And right there, it will be another save opportunity for Kyle Oliver. Top half of the ninth inning, 4-3 lead here. And you see Tennessee not really getting anything done. There's a difference of four one-thousandths of a batting average between ninth and fifth place in the league right now. But, man, is Mobile a very good-looking team here. So let's go in and try and shut these guys down, facing a lefty to start, and this one will be roped into foul territory near right field. Let's throw that circle change in there, and that will be dead center for a strike, so the curveball incoming, and that one will be swung on and missed. Throw down to first, and that is out number one. There we go, so let's get Todd Glazeman out here. He does not deserve to be in there. There's a ball to start this at bat from Oliver. So let's get a strike in there, shall we? There's a ground ball up the middle. Tough play in time. And Kyle Oliver now has two outs against Mobile. This will be two saves in a row for him, which is huge to start this episode. And right there, that one dives over the zone out of the strike zone. And that one in there, a curveball. Curveball's been deadly so far this episode. Really found the confidence with it. There's the fastball again, getting the job done. Let's go back to the curveball, and right there, that one will be sliced past the third baseman for a base knock. Thinking about two, he'll stop, and that will be a base hit against Kyle Oliver. You can't really blame him. A good pitch there, but just couldn't put his man away. And this one dives down low for a ball. Let's go. Oliver's got to get in there. That's another ball, so this starting to go sideways here. That's a ball, so the circle change really missing its spot. Fastball, and that one will be ball number four as well, so Oliver loads them onto the bags, and it's runners at first and second, and Oliver's, oh man, that's five straight balls. Really rough time right here. That's another straight ball, so oh boy. Oliver's getting tired now. Another ball, oh boy, oh boy. This is not good news. 3-0 count. There's a take. We just got to throw in the fastball here. That's all there really is to it. This one's going to be skied out in right field. Four and out. And we are out of the inning. So Kyle Oliver has a dangerous inning, but he's out of it. 
and thankfully gets the save call over. Player of the game right there for you. So that's huge. Play next game. And this will be 5, 16, 14. Nothing's degrading, is it? Don't see anything going down, so that's huge. And a roster move was made. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what this is. Tennessee with another victory, 5-1. to one. Is this the call we are waiting for? Let's find out here. Get an item required, and that is nothing going there. So we're still down here in double-A. Let's see, play next appearance, and we are not going to get into anything until a 3 nothing victory. Well, if Kyle Oliver can get the save here with one out in the top half, or bottom half of the ninth, pardon me, Tennessee is a game back of clearing the lookouts, but they're a half game of a tie with the lookouts, so that would be huge. If we can pull vault here into a tie, that would be huge. If not, well, whatever. So Rafael Velez coming up to the mound, or to the plate, pardon me. He's going to look at that first pitch strike. Let's get him going with the circle change now. And that will be a ground ball double play. Let's turn it. Let's turn it. There's two pitches, two outs. Kyle Oliver gets it done. And that will end this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Kyle Oliver Road to the Show. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you subscribe. If not, leave a like. And I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.